So the fight is on the way. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this team matchup. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice loop and punch. And he landed the right hand there. Couple of chins here being tested early. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Dillashaw. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. And just misses with that big right hand. So 28 total strikes have now landed for TJ Dillashaw. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he caught the kick. shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Dillashaw gets plastered by that uppercut. Real sneaky body. Now a kick to the body. Under a minute now to go in round one. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Good combination there by Dillashaw. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back in range. Back to the inside leg kick. Round one winding down here. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, let's get to round two. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice punch there by Dillashaw. Big leg kick land. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Right punches there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand upstairs. Oh, big kick lands flush. Oh! Big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Pretty significant well to the left side. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, man, 
This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nice kick there by Dillashaw. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. But you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Close guard. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Ten minutes in the books. Shaw gets stung by that leg kick. That's a good knee to the body. Yes, they heard him in the Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, beautiful knee to the head there. He's the taller fighter. We told you that off the top. He certainly used his length well in that situation. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. What a punch. Dillashaw's lower jaw now starts. Oh, that's a seminal blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly 